Hello everyone. Om Guruve Nama. Today I have started to uh, I'm starting to make a series of videos uh, with regards to an important uh, you know sort of an, an a popular topic in Vedic astrology, uh, which is all about uh, yogas and Raj yogas. All right, and uh, as I started uh, my video with Om Guruve Nama, today it is all about Jupiter. So in the next uh, series of video, I am going to talk about uh, some important yogas in the chart, um, which can sort of potentially make the native successful, uh, you know, achieve a lot in life. Uh, so so one such uh, yoga or a series of yogas is called the Pancha Mahapurush uh, yogas. All right. Um, so there are different kinds of Pancha Mahapurush yogas. Okay, uh, which are formed. So the basic rule is uh, uh, that that besides the luminaries and apart from the luminaries and the lunar nodes, uh, the other grahas are eligible and can uh, form a pancha mahapurush yoga. And those grahas are Mars, uh, Jupiter, Mercury, uh, Saturn, and Venus. So these are the grahas uh, who can form a Pancha Mahapurush Yoga. The basic rule of the Pancha Mahapurush Yoga is that either of these grahas is in their own sign, Mool Trikona sign or in exaltation in any of the Kendras, uh, which means the first house, fourth house, seventh house or the tenth house in the chart. So if they are either Swakshetra in their own sign, Mool Trikona, which is the office, or exalted, uh, it forms a Pancha Mahapurush Yoga in all of these houses. Um, and each of these yogas have a different name. So today we are going to talk about the Hamsa Mahapurush Yoga, which is formed when Jupiter is in Kendra, in either in its own sign uh, of uh, Pisces or Multricona sign of Sagittarius or exaltation sign of cancer so that's how a pancha mahapurush yoga which is called hamsa yoga is formed now when we talk about the ancient text right what brihat parasha hora shastra and of course the the very popular uh, book of th more than 300 important uh, uh, 300 important combinations by dr b v raman talks about um, that if uh, Jupiter is uh, forming Hamsa Hamsa Mahapurush Yoga, then what the ancient texts suggest that either there would be a, a, a couch shape lotus um, or a fish mark kind of a, a mark on the legs of the native. So that's quite prominent, okay, which is also a significator of uh, the yoga does not have a lot of blemish in it. Okay, uh, the, the, the Vedic text also suggests that uh, the native uh, will have a handsome body, uh, the native will be liked by others, will be righteous and pure mind. So these are some of the general uh, sort of qualities uh, of, of Jupiter which uh, it can bless. Um, there's been a lot which has been talked about the, the Pancha Mahapurush Yogas, but today I'm going to probably uh, share some different aspects. Um, so, th so in case of Jupiter, there are only certain lagnas, okay, uh, where this yoga is ap applicable. So it is applicable uh, in all the movable signs, which is 1, 4, 7 and 10, Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. Because in these signs, Jupiter, uh, there's a possibility that Jupiter can be placed in a uh, in, in one of the Kendras in its uh, own sign or uh, the sign of exaltation or multricon sign. Okay, for all the, the fixed signs, which is 2, 5, 8, and 11, uh, Taurus, uh, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, uh, Hamsamha Purush Yoga cannot be formed. Uh, uh, they, can, they can never have in the chart. Uh, for all the dual signs, which is 3, 6, uh, 9, and 12, uh, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, uh, there could be a possibility of Hamsamha Purush Yoga, but with conditions applied because here is where uh, the concept of Kendra Adipati Dosha also comes in, wherein the benefic who owns the Kendra um, uh, sign, okay, so is um, sort of, uh, you know, so, so loses this sort of beneficence. So uh, it's not, you know, sort of as auspicious as it might be in let's say the uh, the movable signs but then uh, hamsa mahapurush yoga is still there 
because if any of these main benefits, which is Mercury and Jupiter, are in their own sign or Moltrico's sign, okay, uh, that's when uh, uh, Kendra Adipati Dosha is cancelled. It's just null and void. All right, uh, it is still formed, but then with conditions applied. Um, so this is, you know, some a, a unique uh, sort of perspective about uh, Hamsa Mahapurush Yoga. Now let's talk about the different uh, houses where it will sort of if it if it is formed and what are the kind of um, you know sort of indicators or results or things that can possibly happen. It is a very positive uh, yoga to have in the chart because. Firstly, uh, Jupiter being the biggest benefic, the natural benefic, okay, and uh, a benefic when placed in Kendra, uh, in strength, in a very comfortable digni dignity, it is a blessing to have. Um, it ensures that uh, it cancels all the bad yogas in the chart or the dur yogas in the chart, or even if uh, there is a there is a condition of arishta, you know, so pal uh, arishta, or at, at the same time any negative yogas that are there in the chart um, even if um, sort of lagna is weak and the lagnesh is weak um, a benefic in kendra is is really a blessing uh, to have so let's look out uh, look at what some of the uh, you know so placements could be for jupiter if jupiter is placed in the first house in the lagna itself either in its own sign multricone sign or the sign of exaltation uh, then this Jupiter is also Digbali. It is gaining directional strength. So that means it has the blessing of the Digpala Devta. Okay. So it, it, such natives are, are are natural protectors. So they like to protect others. So so it's it's in their nature. Um, so another different uh, aspect of such a Jupiter is that uh, uh, these these individuals are also nationalists uh, by the belief that they have. They are firm in nature. Uh, they are also dharmic um, because Jupiter, being the natural ninth lord, uh, ruling the sign of uh, ruling the house of Dharma, the natural Kalpurush chart, if we say. So such natives are also dharmic. Uh, now here's where the catch is: if there's a Cancer ascendant and Jupiter is placed in Lagna in its sign of exaltation. Uh, certainly it is very good. It is forming a powerful Panchamahapurush Yoga. It is also uh, that the ninth Lord goes into the Lagna forming another Raj Yoga. Okay. However, at the same time it also indicates uh, diseases. Uh, right, because it's also the Rogesha, it's also the sixth lord, which is going into the Lagna. So that that is also a perspective uh, which is there. Um, and, and then we must ensure that uh, this Jupiter is not under any kind of blemish. It is not under any malefic influence or a malefic aspect of any of the malefic grahas, such as it's not uh, conjoined the lunar nodes, Rahu or Ketu. It is not under the aspect of Shani or Mangal. Uh, so yeah, this is something which uh, we need to ensure that it is devoid of malef uh, maleficence. It is also not retrograde because if it's retrograde, then it does not qualify for the Hamsa Mahapurush Yoga. Okay. Now, when the Jupiter is in fourth house in any of these signs, uh, either Cancer, uh, Sagittarius, or, or Pisces, okay. And now fourth house, uh, of course, is the Sukhbhava, uh, but then. Uh, you know, it is also your roots. It is also sort of you're, you're connected to your homeland, to your motherland, to mother. So um, it, it is indicative of multiple roots, right? So that is the, the first uh, perspective. Um, Jupiter is the biggest planet, so it gives in abundance. Uh, such natives uh, also have a chance of either having houses in multiple cities or even in multiple countries or probably having lived in sort of multiple uh, uh, countries is also one of the indications uh, which uh, we can probably say. Um, this Jupiter uh, will also give the native an interest in a cult because one of its aspects, the fifth aspect, will go into the eighth house. So that's where uh, it will uh, probably uh, you know, elevate the interest in occult sciences or Jyotish or uh, you know, any of the other hidden secrets and, uh, and desire to learn. Um, this Jupiter will also uh, ensure that there's an interest in either commerce or finance uh, because fourth house uh, is also one of the house where we, we look at uh, you know, your, your school education uh, from 
Okay, uh, this is one of the houses uh, that we sort of uh, consider. Uh, such natives are also very uh, much experts in uh, wealth management. Okay, managing uh, their wealth and of course helping wealth management as a as a career as well. Uh, this is also the house of public, so it makes uh, the individual social or, or or you know either social or a socialite or a social worker. So. Um, uh, they, they are they're natural influencers uh, because this is also the house of public which is sort of opposite to the 10th house of, of karma or profession. Um, so yes, these are some indications uh, very, very positive for Jupiter in the 4th house. Now if Jupiter is placed in the 7th house, uh, either in Sagittarius, Pisces or the sign of Cancer, this is indicative of higher knowledge. Okay, um, such uh, natives or individuals have a great potential to teach others, to coach others, to consult others, you know, give some sort of paramarsh, they're expert management consultants. Um, this Jupiter is also aspecting the Lagna, which uh, itself, and it's a Kama Drishti, it's a seventh aspect, which itself is a blessing to have. So any of the, the bad yogas which could be there in the chart are negated uh, by, by this Jupiter. Uh, such individuals are strong-headed, uh, they're healthy, um, they, they develop a, a strong immunity with time. So of course, might, might face some problem in the childhood uh, up to, up to uh, the age of 10, 15, but after that, uh, they gradually develop a strong immunity. Uh, such individuals have a, have a knack and a, and a strong interest towards psychology as well, towards understanding others and human behaviors uh, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, so such it is its uh, you know, uh, strength. Uh, now, if the Jupiter is in 10th house, uh, Jupiter is also one of the Karakas for the 10th house, uh, Okay, so it indicates uh, higher growth uh, because it is all about your actions in the society. It also makes the the uh, the individual quite social uh, and and very much self-aware. Uh, they are very much aware about themselves. So they like to take multiple responsibilities towards other people, towards their family, towards you know sort of people in general, towards the society, and a lot of. Uh, welfare, uh, they do a lot of public welfare, their actions are a lot in terms of public welfare. Such individuals have uh, very much high visibility because it is it is all about expansion. So at workplace, uh, they have high visibility, uh, they're good philosophers, um, and they're also good with numbers. Um, you know, that's uh, certain specific qualities that the Hamsa Mahapurush Yoga uh, brings in here. But then again, the condition is that the Jupiter should not be uh, under any malefic influence because if it is under, let's say, a Papkartari Yoga, there are malefics in the ninth house and the eleventh house, or it is under a, a, a negative aspect or a malefic aspect, or conjoined with the malefic, uh, or the lagna and the lagnesh are really weak and you know placed in bad houses uh, and under malefic influences, then uh, the results are quite uh, minimized for for this yoga, or probably it may not have you know as good results. So as it could be in other conditions okay so that's what jupiter does in the 10th house so in sequence so when we move from first fourth seventh and tenth uh, its strength increases so 10th uh, house is the strongest uh, then you know sort of followed by the seventh house fourth house and then the first house so uh, in, in a very general sense we can say but then uh, most important conditions are that the jupiter jupiter should be uh, should, should not have any kind of blemish, it should not be afflicted, um, it should, most important point, it should have a high Shadvarga, which means that it should be well placed in the divisional charts. Um, in some of the important division charts, it should not be debilitated. So if it is debilitated in Namamsha, the Shamsha, Trihamsha or Shashti Amsha, then uh, in that case, uh, Hamsa Yoga is cancelled. Uh, it would not uh, work uh, as as much as as it would. So we need to ensure that we check the divisional charts as well, and most importantly, Shadvarga, and also other factors of, of strength. Uh, quite definitely, Jupiter will have a uh, you know sort of a high Sthanabala or a Rigbala in, in such a condition, but then we need to look at the other factors of strength as well and ensure um, that there are no uh, malefic aspects. If there are malefic aspects, the result would sort of uh, you know minimize. It may not be 
as much as it could be uh, when there's no malefic aspect. Uh, but then this is a very powerful uh, yoga to have uh, in any of these kendras because in a general sense, it removes a lot of negativity or negative uh, yogas which could be there in the chart. So this is about Hamsa Mahapurush Yoga. In my next Mahapurush, uh, in the next uh, series of Mahapurush uh, Yoga, I'll talk about the Malavya uh, Mahapurush Yoga, which is formed by Shukra or Venus. Uh, which is another guru, uh, it's a data guru. Okay, so that'll be the next video, which is all about. So uh, if you're new to my channel, please uh, subscribe uh, and hit the bell icon so that you receive updates. So uh, if you wish to receive a consultation, uh, check out the email here, you can write to me and uh, yeah, we can discuss uh, your, your personal consultation as well, which uh, I do offer. Um, so thank you very much and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Om Guru Venama.